Simulation debriefing. Yep, this raises questions. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Okay, this rules. Right, so, uh, it's unclear whether yesterday was um, fake. Today is definitely fake. But, uh, we're not in San Francisco. Let's read someone else's emails. Okay, that button didn't do what I thought it would. Oh. Neuromod installation and removal. So Dr. Bellamy is a real person. <coughs> they were running tests on Morgan. Perhaps the, uh, the test I underwent yesterday, this kind of, where they seem to s expect me to have some kind of powers um, may have been the reification of that test in the simulation. You're my best simulation. But uh, Bellamy claims in this email that uh, Morgan knew about and approved this this morning's incident. That would be the thing where the coffee cup turned into a monster. Okay, so not only is Dr. Bellamy a real person, he really was attacked by the coffee cup. Huh. Interesting. Do, 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 do. The music is telling me, like, you know, you should get out of here and do action, but uh, it doesn't actually seem to be required that I immediately leave. I can't pick up this thing because it's way too big. And uh, I don't have a Liverage 3, which I assume is something you can get, but I haven't got it. Sleeping. Takes shower, puts on uniform, exits apartment. I see, so well, it's actually February 23rd. 23rd. <laughs> um, so it's the 23rd of February. Well, the time in the apartment appeared to be, um... Right, March 2032, as opposed to... Oh, okay, that note thing I picked up. Have I got an inventory here? I can save the game, that's good. Oh, okay. Spare parts, a wrench. Effective improvised bludgeon. Data notes activity log. Right, yes, it's actually 2035. So almost three years have passed since... Um, well, when I say past, uh, I was being uh, simulated as if in the past. Hmm. All right. There's a couple of clearly marked arrows leading the other direction, so I'll go this way. Sound stage rules. Do not enter stage unless in costume. Nice. Clear the rooftop during the simulated flight. Hmm. So this is a fairly elaborate simulation, which was clearly purpose designed, hardware, software, procedures to simulate Morgan's was that a, something that really happened to him? A first day on the job? Why? And this is sound stage A that I'm in now. Oh. Yep. Ah, important. Press and hold to charge your attack. I can do that. I've played Dark Souls. Debriefing. Ooh. That's a numeric keypad. Okay, I know how to use these. Go, four, five, one. No! I guess the password is neither swordfish nor smash the state. The safe code is. <laughs> but, uh, I wonder.
wonder if I can kind of work it out from the uh, erase ticks. I'm hearing a noise. A weird, dangerous sounding noise. Well, Marco Simmons, note. ICOP0876. Alright, well let's see now whether the game remembers passwords for us. Yes. Do not share your password with anyone. Yeah. yeah. The morning's incident. Yep. Into the whole neuromod division. So it seems to me that uh, trends. I keep trend star is, is developing these brain hacking things. They're doing it in space for some reason. They were experimenting on Morgan to do so. Although, uh, I don't know if that's good, but they were doing it. Um, and then something happened. This coffee cup. This result. So they were all negative. Right, so they did not expect the test to all be negative. When um, when Morgan kept doing normal human things, rather than using you know, brain mod powers or something, that was surprising to Bellamy and Alex and so on. Touch base with Greaves. Hmm, I wonder if that's related to whatever went wrong. Mm -hmm. Could be a coincidence, could be not. Here's a, a device. Oh, it's, it's watching me. Uh, <laughs> I guess there's a automated or possibly manually controlled security in this place. I feel like I might be able to kind of work out what this code says, but only maybe, maybe not. To might have to look it up somewhere else. I guess I don't want one to start with. Are those you know, raised, a raised zero or nine or uh, is it worth attempting this? Maybe not. I'll take that under advisement, I guess. The banging noise keeps happening, and I feel like I shouldn't just hang around here forever. Plus, and I keep forgetting this, as it's, it's quite an engrossing game, I am actually recording this video, so if there's anyone watching, I don't want to waste your time too much. Hmm. So the simulation is partly virtual, but uses real actors. That probably was really Alex Yu, and really, um, Dr. Bellamy. Warning, do not open door. Okay. <laughs> so, there is a door right next to the closet one. Oh hey, I might as well pick these up. Again? Question mark? Do I... Oh, I have them now. I guess I didn't have them before, really. All the same stuff here. I think. Did I miss anything? Or did anything change from the first time I was here? Perhaps not. Although there was a note here. I guess it's not here this time. Walk stuff. Camera okay, so everything's been replaced in here. Cool. Let's relieve. Simulation sound stage. Obviously there's gonna be some kind of crafting system. Can't use the emergency phone here. That's a shame because the situation I'm in does seem like an emergency. Uh, oh, black waving stuff. Saving the game here because that reminds me of um, what the coffee cup turned into. Can I get through there to reach it? Maybe not. Not though. Okay, 
claiming there was not helpful. Hmm. Some props. Replacement props. So I'm getting the impression that as a let's play, this one might be a little rambling because uh, this is clearly a game which encourages exploring its environments and poking around them, looking into things. Whoa! Okay, this... Whoa! A health bar popped up reading a question mark, question mark, question mark, and you know what? I agree. So, uh, that thing turned into a sign. It was like next to this other one. Uh, and of course we saw one of them was imitating a coffee cup earlier. Do not open door. What the hell happened to Patricia Varma? Rather alarming. Security locker. Anyway, yes, as I was about to say, um, if you're watching this, you as a hypothetical viewer, uh, please be prepared for a degree of unfocused rambling. Gosh, there's doors everywhere into this place. It's not ob obvious. From oh, actually, no, they do look like doors from the inside. They just didn't uh, open that way. I think the security locker is the only place I have left to go. But I want to make sure of that. Fairly generous run stamina bar here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it's not the only place I had to go at all. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Same place, security. What was that? Ah! What the hell is this? Typhon organ and mimic tumor. No, I can't take the mimic tumor because I, I don't have or perform necropsy. All right. I'm gonna guess that's a mimic. To so, uh, right now this enthuses me. I recently played Elden Ring, in which mimics fear promin uh, feature prominently. And, uh, a mimic was basically my best friend in that game, so I like mimics. These ones seem somewhat hostile, though. Elevator. Oh, it's the fake elevator. <laughs> uh, so, where does my floor take you, or does it not take you anywhere at all? Right, I see, in, in the simulation, it was just uh, pretending to go up. Right, then we have the roof stage. All this machinery to project holograms or something. something. Star Trek. -y. I was right about the pilot not being real. Man, this is really cool. I'm glad I came back to this game. The whole thing is mounted so we can move around to create the illusion of motion. Very strong opening. Transstar. Whoa. Right, so here's where the no banging noise has been coming from. Ah! Fake elevators. I thought it was too fucking fast. <laughs> Please excuse my English. I I've been rused. The, the clues were there all along, but I did not see it. Ooh. Hello. So Dimitri Bowser is a real person too, or at least has a, a real computer. Notes about this morning. Oh, utilities. The uh, there was another computer out there with utilities on it. I've got to go take a look at this. 
scene selection. Subject inside the elevator and maintenance operations. Mm -hmm. So I bet to navigate or get out of this place I'm going to have to reconfigure the scenes and manage the simulation. This is cool. But, uh, I doubt the whole game is um, about this stuff, but uh, I don't know, maybe it is about simulations, so that would be cool. The, the mimic stuff and the uh, brain mod stuff seem to be this facility that I'm inside of um, seems to have been about developing neuromods. So the reason I'm back out here now is I'm looking for this computer that I remember seeing. Here we are. Audio events. Ah. Hey Morgan, wake up! You're burning daylight. Roost, Send roost. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I am uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Pigeon. Okay. <laughs> well, that was perhaps not essential. Right, so... Got a little bit turned around here, but I think if I go either of these directions... I'll find a way into nope, no, nope. yeah, helicopter sound stage, right? And from here into other places. <coughs> hmm. Can't get back here. I can, so I can break random glass. That's good. It's a well. I was about to say that's what a wrench is for. It's not actually the classical use of a wrench, but in video games it is. Oh, there we go. No glass will survive my fury. And then over to the fake testing lab bit. Okay, so I wasn't able to go in there during the simulation. Let's see if I can find the places I could go before. Same article. Can't open that door this time. All right. I'm not yet sure whether playing with this will be useful. Hmm. Well, let's try it out. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. I don't want to get crushed here. Mm. Okay, so I've, uh, I've switched the scenes around out there. But, um... Now I can't get out there. So I can find an alternate way back out to the rooftop slash... to the I guess this is the rooftop entrance to the apartment building versus rooftop entrance to the testing facility. If I can get back out there, there might be something interesting or useful. Whoa. It's one of these things again. Mimics. Yeah, there was only one chair in there. Whoa, shit. Everyone calls them mimics. Typhon Cacoplasmus. Nasty stuff. Hmm. So, I picked up some items earlier which seemed to be food for healing. Let's try that out. It restores five health points. Yes, good. Restores health cues. Fear. I am kind of afraid right now. Well. I'm afraid in character, you know. I imagine Morgan might be afraid. I'm not not particularly afraid myself. Still, let's have some green tea. Is that matcha stuff? I like matcha. Morgan's behavior. Yep. Ooh. Hello. So, um, Bellamy claimed that Alex and Morgan had both approved this thing where they were, I guess, testing neuromods on Morgan for a long time for some reason. Um, 
and I guess at one point Alex and Morgan were both authorities, so maybe it was true, but uh, Morgan's forgotten things and changed over time. But, uh, I don't know if I trust Bellamy. Um, the way he's putting it is not necessarily accurate. Aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria. Hmm. Outburst at the debrief. So I guess the usual way it goes is that after each test they would take Morgan out of the simulation and tell him like, hey, you were in a simulation. Um, but that at some point, perhaps recently, he started going, what the fuck, I was in a simulation? As opposed to, oh yes, I remember now, or oh, thank you for telling me, or whatever. Let's go break into these chambers. Nothing useful there. It's the raw charge blots. Here's my question. Why would you need a simulation like this to test your neuromods that, uh, I'm guessing, give people some kind of mental abilities? What ties those things together? Hello? Alex? Simmons? What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Right, yes. That's uh, the dialogue we heard earlier. Alright, so here's a way out. Lobby, skill recorder, control room. Hmm. So I'm going to save the game here and uh, jump off the side. Partly I wanted to see if I would take full damage. I didn't, which is good. Um, but also I want to return to the um, sound stage B area now that it's been altered should be through here huh doesn't seem very changed hmm I've got a flashlight, don't I? Not enormously helpful after all. Maybe something more useful changed elsewhere. Or maybe I should have reset the scene configurations as well when I was there. I just pose a minor dilemma, which is a... I now don't actually have an easy way to get back to where I was. Well, that's why I saved the game. Hmm. So the sound stage now takes me to the fake top of the trends star building instead of to the fake testing lab. Uh, but it was from the testing lab that I was able to reach these stairs. So well, let's see if anything's changed in uh, Morgan's fake apartment. No, this is all pretty much as it fake was. I go through here to the fake rooftop, no problem. But I'm hearing rhythmic banging noises once again. So how, other than by loading the game, do I return to where I was? There's a skip. Oh. No, is that going to do something? Yes, it is. Cool. Right, it activates the simulation changeover. How interesting. So what about this reset thing? current configuration. Hmm, 
Yeah, it's already. Are the test rooms a reset to current configuration? So that would be these rooms. Okay. I don't really know why I'm doing this, but it's something you can do, so let's do it. See what happens. I think this time I was supposed to hide. Press the second button. And this will, I'm guessing, let me get into the fourth test room, which I've never been able to answer, enter before. No, it didn't. That's a shame. Hmm. Did I do something wrong there? Ah, oh, well, I can go in this way. Oh, hang on, I have been in the fourth test room before. But, uh, This doesn't do anything interesting. Or if it does, I'm not clear what it should do. So I can't proceed beyond there. Perhaps I could if... Uh, I do want to know if there's a way to get out that door to somewhere new. Uh, or are there any testing... Utilities on this guy's computer? No. Simmons. Oh, hang on, what's this? It's gone red now. Hold release. Hmm. Let's reset it again. Ready. Right, but that's only one of the three lines. The other rooms are not completed as of yet. This one, you don't have to do anything in particular, just hide. Okay, so it feels like I was actually on the right track before. I think I want to reset the testing rooms, then head through them. Oh, now that, once again in this way where I... Oh, no. Ah, to wait for the bling noise. Press the button. Move the objects. Remove them harder. Problem is this chair. I know how to hide. I will simply leave the room entirely. Good luck finding me. Yeah, that did it. That's it. I don't think that was the problem before. Beep. So... Once again, the lights come on, but it doesn't seem to unlock this door. And the following test room has not been reset. I've been kind of let through as far as here. What is the meaning of this? What is its utility? And in this fourth chamber, there's no lights on the wall. There's this uh, freeform test thing, which does not seem to me to serve a purpose. Cannot go forwards or backwards. I don't know 
what's the use of this at this time. Alright, I guess I'll cut my mental losses at some point. See whether... Perhaps I'll be able to come back here later and think about whether anything is going on. No smoking. Really feels like that should have been some kind of puzzle that activates a thing. Oh, oh well. Exit lobby, skill recorder, and control room. Well, the control room seems highly relevant. I love these sort of out of bounds situations moving around on top of rafters above a room, that sort of thing. That's a great way for video games to give you a kind of transgressive freedom. It's uh, somewhat hard to, uh, to achieve in real life. Oh, ah! These freaking things. Oh, I got it. It had shotgun shells on it for some reason. I'm glad it wasn't able to mimic a shotgun. Hmm. Hmm. Scene switching in progress. <laughs> nice. And hide it. Okay, so this actually op uh, opens up two more avenues of potential exploration. Uh, the first is I might want to go back to the Transstar facility and see what's um, uh, what's up if I enter the helicopter room from the inside. Although it's in the wrong configuration to do that now. And the other one is I might want to go into... Oh no, because I've already been in there with looking glass off. Oh no, but now there's this hole because that... Right. Yes, well this probably won't be interesting, but it might be. It might not matter what the Trendstar config is. Ah, yes. See above about glass and escaping my fury and how it can't... But, uh, that's a bit of a bombastic turn of phrase. I have no actual animus toward the substance. I think glass is really cool and interesting. Glass blowing is a fun practice. And there's all sorts of strange characteristics of the substance, like uh, the way that it actually is you know, semi-liquid and pools near the base of glass panes over time. Stained glass is very attractive. Right, so this interior wall is still down. Okay. Oh, a med kit. Yeah, quick select. Assign weapons and valves from your inventory or favorites wheel by selecting the item or skill. Sure. How do I get a favorites wheel? Like so. I'm holding down the middle mouse button there. This makes sense. Now I can press 1 to select the wrench. Possibly I could put a med kit on a different number. That might be the purpose of that thing there. Little vignette. This mysterious room. It irks me. I consider myself irked. I find it irksome. Alright, well, um. This is a. Once again, I'm going to save even more so than before. Because I'm putting myself in an even s more confusing position now. Or I'm less certain than ever how to return to the state I was in. Uh, right, yes, through here. But. 
This might go somewhere interesting. Hmm. No, not really. <laughs> it goes exactly where I expected it to go. And in fact, it doesn't go there. I'm failing to enter for some reason. Ah! Invisible glass. Well, at least I can re-reset to get back in and out again. I may have milked this simulation area for all of its content, as if it were a content cow. But I just think this sort of thing is really cool. A to D. Right, so resetting only affects rooms A, B, and C. Mm, I guess there's one more thing I'm interested in looking at. <laughs> um, now that I've got that config once again, from the control room, can I see here whether any interesting thing has happened in the helicopter room? I guess it's, uh, if I turn on the looking glass, it'll now produce a rather odd result, perhaps. Because there's a hole in the glass, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, that's cool, but not necessarily helpful. That hole would lead directly into the Transtar facility, I guess? And not its elevator? To, again, not immediately. Oh! Oh shit! Oh, I'm sorry, Greet Mickelson, about whatever happened to you. Like Patricia, um... The way these people have died, the... The way their heads look is... Disconcerting. Hmm... I can go here, although it's not clear that I should. Interesting. I guess I will simply fall down if I walk out there. This is so cool. I guess the only question I have is uh, why there is this entrance at all. Where is that supposed to go in the simulation? But it doesn't matter. Alright. Let's really, really head out of here this time. The cow is milked out. Oh shit, um, hello? I'm sorry, I'm trying to, well, fuck, I guess that's what happens to people. January, which is a very suspicious name, by the way, and nobody's called January. Um, why does it produce that appearance? Anyway, uh, so the mimics are finding people and like jumping inside them and turning into more mimics, reproducing, I guess. That sucks. So I guess that um, the coffee cup thing was the start of it, or represented the start of it, and uh, this facility has been basically becoming progressively more fucked up since yesterday. 
Research and design, editor lobby, simulation, improved items. Yes. Uh, I'm not really interested in whether the items are approved anymore. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Here's a bunch of names we've heard before. Evelyn of the computer, Simmons of the phone call, Greet who is dead, Ditto Johan. Computer! <laughs> Button. Okay, we're getting into information theory here. Non-local and superluminal. And thankfully, Jofa did not log out before he was horribly killed by a strange creature. An alien creature, perhaps? New test plan. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, that explains a lot. Area of effect, copycat, and spooky action. I wonder... I wonder if those red lights meant I was failing the test by failing to use these... I'm guessing neuromodded abilities. Didn't, and neuromods are thing which give you some kind of ability. Is Morgan someone who's particularly good at using them, maybe? That would explain the testing somewhat. Bellamy's taken data. Get to the trauma center and grab the keycard to his cabin off his body. Okay. I do want to know about mimicry and remote manipulation. In fact, there's a lot of things I want to know about right now. But, uh, Morgan may have once known about these things, but if he's lost his memory, he's uh, as in the dark as I am. Okay, play your way, we are told. As is the want of the genre. Search for the keycard. Find an alternate path. Learn new abilities and open more options. Well, I like all of those things. I'm going to take an option which... Oh, hang on. Hang on, I saw that. Fuck you. Stop pretending to be objects. That's, uh... It's dangerous. <laughs> okay, I'm just pretending here because, um... I'm going to take, uh... The Path Less Travelled. An option which was not even suggested. I'm going to save the game and stop playing for now. But that was a really good intro. And, uh, this looks like a very interesting video game.